Gospel of September the 22nd, 2014, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel, or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a, sta on a lampstand, so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is important for us also to read just a couple of a couple of verses on the first reading which is from the book of Proverbs. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim, when it is in your power to do it for him. Envy not the lawless man, and choose none of his ways. Those two will shine light also, rather will be enlightened by the words of the Lord. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim when it is in your power to do it for him. That is, do not abstain yourself to help others when you can't help them. And do not envy or choose the way that the lawless man behaves. Now the Lord is talking about a light. The Lord himself, in the Gospel of John, says, I am the light. Yes, certainly he is the light that shines on our path so that we will not be lost and stray. He is the, the sun from on high that downs on our shadow of death, on this valley of death, or us. And also his Holy Spirit is represented as the fire that both purifies, gives warm and heat, but also shines with light. And that very Spirit and that very Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, we have received in our baptism. So we are called upon to shine with light, as our, not because we have light by our own devices, but we have received it is like the effect of the moon, that without life itself, nonetheless, it shines as a reflection of the sun's light in the night. So too, we are called to reflect the light of our Lord, the light of the Spirit. What kind of light are we to shine with? Exactly what we heard in the book of Proverbs. Do not say no to anyone whom you can help if you can. If you cannot help him, then you are excused. But if it is in your power to prudently help that person, any person, then we ought to help them. Not because we are looking into a gain or a profit, but because who we are called to be. We are called children of the light. And we also must shine with the good actions that God moves us to perform. So that is why we are not to remain hidden. It is useless for me to have a big cross on my chest, to have a frock, or even a habit of religious men or women, if I don't give what is deserved of that. I have been given, I have been granted this enormous gift of the life of God. How am I going to behave with that? It was not mine. I did have no right to it. But it was granted to me graciously free because of the love of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So it is exactly what the Lord is saying. He's making that warning to us. Take care how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. What is that that the Lord is talking about having? The good fruits, the fruits of love. Those are the fruits that we have to have. 
Now he says, and the one who has not, even what he seems to have, will be taken away. Let's be very careful and not appear like we're doing things just in terms of human perception, but rather be humble. The Lord is not expecting us to give great fruit. Rather, let's be humble, just as Saint Therese of Lisieux used to say. She used to say, I am the humblest of all your creatures, Lord. Let me produce tiny flowers of my everyday actions that will be good for you. Perhaps a good prayer for us would be to pray the Lord that He would allow every action of our lives to be acceptable to Him, our brothers. How are we going to demonstrate or even love God if we do not love our brothers? God whom we cannot see and our brothers that we can see. God whom we do not perceive and our brothers that are next to us. How are we going to love God if we cannot perceive Christ hidden in our smallest of the brothers and perhaps the most heinous? The most repugnant. Yes, dear brothers, let us humbly ask our Father that He might shine His light on us and kindle His fire of love so that we can also shine every single day of our lives until we are there united with our Father in heaven. God bless you all, brothers.